Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. So, I just said, um, I'll be traveling, so I said, let me make a new video that I'll be posting when I travel. So, this is it. I have this fabric. I have it. I made a dress for a client from this, and I still have some pieces left. I thought, I thought maybe, I said, okay, let me use it and make something like just simple something, something casual, like everyday something. Something you can easily wear to hang out for birthday party or so this is what I have like maybe a total of this should be like two years or one point five years of fabric. Please if you're working you should you should use something that is stretchy because this will not have a zipper. So you just use a fabric that is stretchy that will go with our vibe. So guys we're, we're going to just create something just make something that is very nice and simple but before we do that please make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any question any question regarding this tutorial this video just drop a comment then if you have a video request if you want me to make if you have a style that you want me to recreate then send it via my whatsapp or my instagram at coolie signature also so so this is what i have i will be recruiting that from this so so like i said it's not up to two years this is not up to two years for those that will still ask it's not up to two years so this i've used this part to cut out a dress before but it wasn't giving me what i wanted so i had to like recut it again but here i'm going to draft from this so this is a short dress and the length depends on what you want and the last there's a video i posted um i just posted a cutting video i'm here to complete it please bear with me because i can't find some parts of those dress i have to like buy a new one to combine it so and i've now here gone to to the market to get it so uh yes i know that i still have fabric i still have a tutorial that i'm here to complete and i'll do that soon so this is um a front dress already so i'm just going to manage to see if this will give me the waist the hip and all that so the first thing now from this point now from this point so this may not really give me what i want but i will check if this will give me my bust and i will check if this part will take from there now i'll start from there Good morning, how are you doing? I'll start taking my measurement from here now. This is my shoulder line that I'm trying to draft. So the length of my dress will be 38. I don't want it to, to come out really short. I don't want it to come out really short. Plus folding and everything will be 38. Folding and everything 38. So I'll take my shoulder measurement to see if this will really give me from your shoulder line you get your waist location which is 16 inches my hip is 25 inches then once you are done drafting out the lines you take your shoulder measurement mine is 14 divided by 2 by 7.5 then i went down by i use my chest line as i use 8 point uh, sorry 7.5 as my chest line because this is a stretchy fabric so just take it down get your mid the middle of your armhole that is just the your basic way of getting of drafting your pattern then the next thing is to take your ramp bust measurement here i use my exact measurement without adding any allowance once you are working on the stretchy fabric instead of you to add you reduce so i just use my exact waist measurement exact bust measurement and my exact hip measurement without adding any allowance i did my nose because this fabric is not that stretchy but i didn't add any allowance so that damp part i removed half inch instead of one inch just your total measurement you remove half inch so that you don't you don't make it too pain so, so that you can walk freely so once you just have it i do i was just marking to get the lines just the straight length so that everything will come out very well so the next thing that is to mark out the neckline sorry that it didn't really show where here i use three inches uh neckline and four inches with uh, three inches by three inches the back is one inch so you just do it and connect your shoulder slow remember that this has an auto um a total neck part so you can use 2.5 inches if your fabric is really stretch you can use for the width you can use 2.5 then for the depth you can use 2.5 that is for the front so once you have it like this just cut it cut the front ammo because we are going to use the front to cut exactly the same thing it's it doesn't have a zipper then your weight your hip you don't need 
your hip you trim it off very well because you don't need it to be that pointy then you just after that you just trim off your back neckline remember that i used one i came down by one inch for the back neckline and this is not the final neckline so the next thing now is to draft out the sleeve cut out the sleeve make sure that you are using the stretchy part it must be stretchy so you just cut and trim off from that place from the starting line i marked my sleeve length i used 24 for everything including the allowance so from that point now i went down by four inches then i did this slant s curve then you measure your armhole to know the amount you have there that's how you are going to measure you just measure it out this way then you check your wrist you measure around your wrist or your curve cough just to get the amount that you want and how tight you want it then you measure around your sleeve then once you get around your sleeve just place it like that and cut it take it down to your wrist and here we have the sleeve ready so you just cut it that this is just one piece for the sleeve i'll place it and cut exactly what i have there now So just get the mid the midpoint go down by half in that is we are just we are trimming it for the front armhole. So the next thing this uh we um you, you you remember that I'm trying still trying to manage this fabric and this is it. So the next thing now to do is to fold the fabric into two that is your front part to get the midpoint just to get the middle of the fabric once i'll decide to come down by six inches i don't want to reveal my cleavage so i'll come down from that point i'll come down by six inches first then i'll just mark the six inches line the, so from that middle of the line so from that mid line you can decide to come down by two inches or three inches let me do 2.5 inches then you, you come in a bit this doesn't have measurement but just let me try with measurement if you come in from that line you come in by one inch one inch size one inch then you're going to connect this way we are connecting this way you go in a bit then you cover it like this So this may not really be beautiful until no, visible until I cut it out. So you just have something like this. You go like this. Let me go down with it again. You go like this. Remember that you're not doing this only to the to the front, you're doing it to the back. So I'll show you how you place the back before cutting that. So this you should have something like this. So when I'm cutting, I'm not going to cut through this side. I'll just leave like half inch. I don't want to cut it because I'm still going to fold it. You just leave half inch, just add half inch allowance to this so that it will not come out too wide. So you should have something like this. So you just come down from this leg, you come down straight, then just curve it like this. So I don't want the curve to be much. I'm going to follow this line. So you come down. You still go down a bit. Then you curve it. So this is the way I'm going to curve it. So you get the back also. I have to piece for the back because it wasn't enough. So I'm going to, to the back is going to have joining. But you have to join it. You have to join it before cutting it. I'm just trying to show you guys how you will cut the back. I'm not cutting it yet until I join it so that I don't make any mistake. So you just have to. The right side of <coughs> sorry, the right side of your back will face down. Why the wrong side will face or please note the right side will face down. Because I want this to the cuff part to go to the left hand of the sleeve. So that's why it's facing this way. So it's I mean but left is always better when it comes to adding sleeves or all that. So the best thing if you are joining the best thing is to join this part. Join the the allowance part. So you have the right side that you get your your front your front your right your front the right side will be facing up so make sure that everything is equal make sure the make sure that the shoulder ranks very well make sure that everything is equal so once you have it equal like this you can now trim off i don't know if i should do this now but i really want to join it if i start trimming off anything so that i don't end up making any mistake so this is just have it equal like this thing to trim it off so I'll just join it and show you guys how you can trim it off. 
Yeah, I'm down attached the the back. So the next thing now is to place it the way I ask you to place it. Make sure that everything aligns very well. The neck, the sleeve, the armhole part. Make sure that everything is equal so that they will, they will come out the same. So once you have it like this, you now trim it off. Please look the way I'm trimming it. Look at the way I'm trimming it. So this is how you are going to trim it. Just take your time and trim. So this is it. Remember that we are going to um please um before doing this, uh remember to cut your front neckline. I didn't really cut it out in this video, but yes, remember remember to cut out that three inches line. So this is it. And we are going to be attaching our total neck. So this is what you are going to have. This is how. So you just attach both sides. The next thing now is to do the down cut out. There's a cut out there at the right side of the dress. Please don't face your your the the your dress should be the right side should be facing the right side. Then the wrong side should be facing up. Then you choose where you want it to be. I want it to be um on my right hand that is the right uh, hand of the dress so from that place you go up by four inches then go out by one inch go up by four inches then go go out by one inch then connect it the way you want one inch is okay if you don't want it to come out really wide well because we are still going to fold it so out up by four inches out by then you just connect it like that so this is it you just connect it slantly then this is this is how it's going to look when you open it up this is how it's going to look so uh, to achieve the neck but you have to measure around your neck whatever you have i have 16 so i'm going to add extra two inches so that it will not come out too tight so that 18 divided by two is nine you mark out your nine then nine divided by two again you have 3.5 so you just get the middle of nine then go up by half inch in in that it's on that 18 inches line you go up by half inch then measure the the length of the collar that you want to use just take it around like that i used 2.5 please if you are cutting on your fabric it should be on full but i'll just advise you to cut it on your pattern paper before drafting it on your fabric so just get the length of your the uh, the length then here i just dry, um, measure the nine inches again just to get an equal line then you connect it with a slant curve this way just to make that place to be covered but we are not going to be needing that curve because it has one slanted line there so you just have to you, once you have it like this you cut it out so this is not on fold but i'm going to if you're cutting it on your fabric it should be on fold. if you look at it very well so from that upper part i went in by half inch for that slant curve then connect it straight to meet the other line just to get that curve if you look at the thumbnail very well you notice that the color is somehow so that is what you have so this is the color just add extra two inches to your neckline extra two inches and please we are going to use the stretchy part to cut this out so that you'll be comfortable i are going to use the stretchy part so guys i'm still going to upload the final video of this but for now i'll just drop this one just the cutting video i promise to complete the video i promise to uh, upload the complete video and guys if you don't have any questions if it's sorry if you have any question regarding this story or any other story please make sure to drop a comment and i will see it i will reply you so i'll make another video for the joining how you can join it and how you can just hem the damn path and also that cut out also